Here, let me stand up so I can see you. Ah, yes. Now I can see you. Let's play again. <laughs> okay guys, it is the moment that a lot of you have been waiting for, including myself. I've been waiting for this for quite some time, ever since the first time I ever laid eyes on her inside this box. Yes, that's right, there's a her inside this box. We are gonna open it right now and let her out of the box. And when I say her, I mean this her, the creepy, right? Hold on. The Creepy Rising Doll. That's right, guys. Not too long ago, I bought this Creepy Rising Doll straight from Spirit Halloween. Before the stores started opening, you may remember me giving a little teaser about her a little while ago. As soon as I saw that she was going to be available for this season, I jumped online and bought her because this is one of the most awesome animatronics from Spirit Halloween that I have ever seen. So let's just take a quick look at the box here. Look at how cool that looks already. Creepy Rising Doll from Spirit Halloween. There she is. Torso slowly rises upward, glowing LED eyes and moving mouth. Stands 5 foot 4 inches tall and rises up to 6 foot 9 inches tall. Around the side, we have another awesome picture here. Around the back, we can see the price tag back. Oh, I guess that's not the price tag. I don't even remember how much she was. But you can see the little story about the creepy rising doll right there. I'll let you guys go online and read that yourself. And then on the other side, you can see there are more awesome pictures of, you guessed it, the creepy rising doll. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get down to opening this box, making sure that everything is in it, and building the creepy rising doll. Oh my gosh, I am so excited, guys. She is one of the most awesome animatronics I've ever seen. Wow, her clothes are really heavy. <laughs> All right, we got a hand. Man, look at those creepy things right there. I'm just scared of the hand. We got another hand. The mechanism here, the torso mechanism. All right, there's another part of the torso mechanism. Instructions. This must be power cord. Oh, there is her face. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. That face is creepy. Cords on it. Uh, this piece here and this piece here, which is the base, and something else I have to open. I almost hate to say it because I might jinx it, but she actually looks like she might be pretty dang easy to put together. Okay, looks like we have everything we need. So this is the back. B and B. Okay. C. C. Is this part. I'm gonna have to set her down here. Adapter. So this is the sensor. What in the world? <laughs> okay. Okay, so this little doohickey is E. Attach E upper pole to the D control box frame. This is D, right? How do I lift it up? What in the world? Oh, press here, okay. All right, I got it. Okay, and F is this piece here. Goes down and on top of here. I think that's right. Slip the M costume over the assembly. Wait a minute. What the heck? Is it the whole thing? Oh, okay, this is L. Man, I start sweating when I'm putting these things together. I think that's right. <sighs> Smell like a hog up in this piece. We have to expose that. Slide the prongs of the shoulder frame. Guess that's this. The heck is all over. I got creepy rising doll stuff all over me. Okay, I think that's right. Slide the head onto here. I guess that's right. Now to the arms. Okay, left arm up the sleeve. I think that's right. 
Okay, right arm. Okay, we got the Velcro. Oh, sensor right there. Attach the sensor, we did that. Connect all the cables to their corresponding cables. So I guess the white goes to white, red to red, and black to black. All right, she is looking spooky. Hmm, okay. All right, I think that's right. Everything's connected. Close the back, secure the hood. So that would be this. She's so tall. Okay, I can't see it, but there is Velcro on top of her head. Oh my gosh, she's so scary. It seems like there's so many sharp edges inside for this gown to get caught on. I guess we'll find out. All right, that looks about right. All right, let me put this table away. We're gonna check her out. Okay guys, so I have her plugged in and she shrunk down and uh, hunched over a little bit there. So let's go over and spark the sensor and see her in action. Hello, Ooh. do you wanna play with me? Let's play a game. The rules are very simple. Oh my gosh. Come over here and I'll show you. Don't be afraid. Come a little closer. That's right. Here, let me stand up for you. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, yes, now I can oh my see you. You look good enough to oh, eat. Crap. We can play hide Whoa. and seek if you want to. You run and I'll come find you. I love a good chase. <laughs> oh my gosh, she is so awesome, guys. All right, look at this. The sensor is so good. Do you want to play with me? Let's play a game. The rules are very simple. Come over here and I'll show you. Don't be afraid. Come a little closer. That's right. Here, let me stand up so I can see you. Ah, yes. Now I can see you. You look good enough to eat we can play hide and seek if you want to you run and i'll come find you i love a good chase <laughs> i love how she goes right back down into the hunched position so when i was first watching her and i didn't even take this into consideration when she started rising, she was going up and up and up, and I'm like, oh my god, is she going to hit the ceiling? She literally came like this far from the ceiling before she stopped. That was crazy. Okay, so I turned down her voice box so we can just kind of look at her and, uh, and, and examine things for a minute here without her making noise. Look at how the eyes blink blue while she talks and that's when she's talking like in the the really soft like almost baby voice and then you'll see when she starts to turn evil and starts like stretching upwards look at her eyes her eyes turn red and that jagged cut on her mouth that is so creepy now i may have to actually go in there and paint some of this black just to um to get it to blend in with the back there that would look much better. But dang, she is so awesome. Oh my gosh. Look at the hands. The hands are so creepy, guys. I love it. I love how when she starts to go up, her hands kind of spread apart a little bit. And then when I was watching her, I think I may have already said this, but when she started standing up, just watch this a second. Okay, come on now, creepy. Okay. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Watch how close she gets to the ceiling. Watch this. Look at that. She is like half an inch from the ceiling. Oh my gosh. I wish that I could set her up in a graveyard. That would be so scary to have her in a graveyard. But there's usually people like doing, you know, lawn care and stuff like that at graveyards. So I don't think I could get away with it. But man, how cool is this prop, guys. She's even bigger than I expected her to be. I'm so glad I bought her. And let's come around the side here a minute. She's getting ready to, to stretch upwards. If you look at her from the side, you can see like where the head is not a full head. So you'd 
really have to put something in there to make it look good from the side. But watch this when she comes back down. I want you to see how she hunches forward again. Okay, here we go. She's coming down. Here you go. Watch this. So cool. Oh my gosh. Best prop ever. So awesome. So I also noticed one other thing, um, well, one thing that I forgot to do, and that's down here on the legs. Like, there's these things here, and they're supposed to connect to the two tubes that are up under that uh, the gown there. Um, probably just to keep her steady or something, but I forgot to do that. So I'll make sure that when I set her up again that I do hook up those two little rods. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and turn her sound back on so you guys can hear her again, because she is so totally awesome. Hello, do you wanna play with me? Let's play a game. The rules are very simple. Come over here and I'll show you. Don't be afraid. Come a little closer. That's right. Here, let me stand up so I can see you better. <laughs> ah, yes. Now I can see you. You look good enough to eat. 